What is up guys, it is Shipwreck Samantha here, and today I'm here with another video to show you how I created this drawing of Piper. Piper is the little bird, or I believe Piper is the name of the type of bird from this little animated short called Piper um, that is shown right before Finding Dory the movie in theaters. A lot of people have been drawing Baby Dory lately, and as cute as she is, I really didn't want to just be another person that drew Dory, because I know a lot of people are getting tired of it already. So I thought I would draw Piper, because he is adorable, and I actually think I like him more than Dory. <laughs> I went to go see Finding Dory and decided I think I like the animated short Piper more than Finding Dory. Don't get me wrong, Finding Dory was amazing and I loved it and I won't spoil it here, but if you haven't seen it, you need to go watch it. Finding Nemo was my childhood movie and growing up I watched that movie so many times so the fact that they came out with a sequel made me so happy and it kind of took me back to childhood memories and it was really really awesome so I definitely recommend going to see it. So while I'm doing this drawing, I'm just going to kind of be rambling about a few things I wanted to tell you guys, so if you don't care to listen to me, you feel free to just turn off the volume on this video and watch me draw, turn on some of your own music if you like, and just kind of enjoy the process of me making this drawing. I thought I'd talk about the my experience that I've learned so far from doing toned paper drawings. I just recently got this toned paper sketch pad and I love it. This is something I've been wanting to do for a long time now. I've seen drawings like on Pinterest of things that people have done with just, you know, black and white pencils or markers and things like that and they just look so beautiful with the toned drawings because Lighting is one of my favorite things about drawing, and I love to have harsh contrast in lighting and lights and darks, and so this is a great way for me to practice that and enjoy that. So I got this artist sketch pad that is a tan color, and I really like the consistency of it because it's not really thick and rough and toothy, so it's kind of smooth and I like it that way. And as for what I'm using, I am using... Let me see if I can remember. I'm using a black and white Prismacolor pencils, which I recently got, and I love them. I have a... I can't remember the name of the marker. Oh, well, it's a Prismacolor marker, but I believe it's cool gray. It's a really light shade of gray, and it comes on a little tan on the paper, which is what I wanted. That's why I got the gray marker, to make that, to kind of meet that middle and bridge the gap between the, the black and the white, so I could have some middle tones there, and it would also be really smooth because it's marker and not pencil. And as for what I'm using to blend it is a blending stump, and I actually discovered dipping it in olive oil works really well for blending everything together. I know people have used a lot of different oils to dip their blending stumps in or Q-tips for blending Prismacolors, but my concern was I didn't want to have fumes that could hurt my Conyer Rose because I was drawing this in my bedroom where she is and I know there are some fumes that I can't even have in the house at all because if they spread to my bedroom they will hurt her and so I was very concerned about that and through a lot of thorough research um, I just decided to go ahead and try olive oil because it's an oil and I knew that it wouldn't have fumes that would kill her and it works great. And so I decided I had no need for baby oil or turpentine or whatever other people use, the mineral spirits. I didn't want to risk any of that. Plus, if it's bad for my bird, it's probably bad for me too. So it's not like I would want that in my room anyways. <laughs> Also, in case anyone asks what I'm watching, yes, I am watching Merlin because I am a nerd and I love watching Merlin a lot. <laughs> I know the show's over and it's very sad, but I watch a lot of BBC. I watch Merlin and Sherlock and Doctor Who and things like that. So anyways, I also apologize if my head comes into frame a lot. I This is a very casual drawing and... I kind of look like I'm bored, but that's just my position for drawing a lot, is resting 
my head in my hands while I'm drawing and I didn't even realize I was doing it until I went to edit this video and I thought, oh no, why'd you do that, Samantha? Something else I'd like to talk about because I have this opportunity to do some ramblings is I'm currently writing a book called New Horizons and it is actually published on Wattpad. If you guys want to check it out, you can search my Wattpad name, Shipwreck Samantha, or maybe Shipwreck Sam. I'll link it in the description down below or you can just search New Horizons, but like I said, I'll have that in the description for you guys so you can just click the link and go read my book. I only have, I believe, seven chapters up right now but I am still writing it I thought that posting the chapters while I'm writing it instead of trying to complete the whole thing first would motivate me to actually finish the book and it's worked so far so because I have published it on Wattpad it has really encouraged me to continue it it's all about a girl named Astrid who got herself into some a little bit of trouble in her home kingdom that made the king angry and so she found passage on the first ship she could find and accidentally discovered she became a crew member on a pirate ship so then she has to venture on this voyage in this adventure to figure out how to backtrack and find her freedom and figure out how to save herself because she has gotten herself into a pretty bad situation because she's on the run and stuck with a bunch of pirates on the way. So I'm really enjoying the story so far and so are some other readers that are currently reading it. So I'd really appreciate if you guys would go check it out, give it a vote, comment, tell me what you think. I would love to hear constructive criticism on it because I'm trying to do well and I am open to feedback on negative and positive as long as there's just, you know, no hate comments saying it's awful. I'd prefer not to hear that, but if you have anything to say that could help improve the book, I would really appreciate it. And I'm currently writing the next chapter. The updates are pretty slow because my life is busy and it usually, in my free time, I end up creating artwork and it's hard for me to get into the motivation of writing. Writing is more of a hobby than artwork is. <laughs> so. I try my best to write when I can. I have a third of a chapter written right now for the next update. I update at the very minimum once a month, but of course when you're watching this I may have more up there already, depending on when you're watching this video. But I plan to finish it, so regardless of whether you start reading it now or later, I plan on having the book finished, so feel free to add it to your library. Add it to a reading list would be fantastic and I would really appreciate it. Feel free to spread the word too if you can because that would really mean a lot. Just having readers really encourages me to keep going and it's been a dream of mine for a long time to have a published book and I do plan to publish this book one day and I already have some ideas for some prequels as well as sequels so hopefully there'll be more to come. Well, that's about enough of my ramblings. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm amazed that you made it all the way through and you're still listening to my ramblings. But if you aren't already and you'd like to be, be sure to join my pirate crew by hitting subscribe down below. Here on my channel, you will find a new video every Friday related to artwork. I have speed paints like you see here, tutorials, reviews, advice, tips, anything you can think about relating to artwork is here and like I already said, I am here to help you guys and for us to learn together. So subscribe down below and you will find a new video every Friday. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys next Friday.